Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 7.5, Solving Linear Trigonometric Equations. So the first thing we're going to do is actually solve this linear equation, 2x plus 1 equals 0. If you do it the, um, the slower way, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides, so we get 2x equals negative 1, and then we're going to divide both sides by 2, so we get x equals negative 1 half, and that's how we solve linear equations. If we have a linear trig equation, like 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0, we're going to do it in almost exactly the same way, but we're going to add some steps to it. So the first thing we're going to do is isolate sine x, just like we would isolate um, x usually. So we get sine x equals negative 1 half, and then we'll solve this um, by using the related acute angle and the positive ratio and then using cast. So um, we're going to do sine beta equals 1 half and if you can figure out what the exact value of the angle is you should um, and so we recognize 1 half and we know beta is equal to pi over 6 um, and then we'll write the quadrant so sine is negative in quadrants t uh, 3 and 4 here and here so we'll write that out quadrant 3 quadrant 4 um, so x is equal to uh, pi plus pi over 6, which is 7 pi over 6, and x is equal to 2 pi minus pi over 6, which is 11 pi over 6. And we'll just put a uh, victory dance right there and there, and there we go, we got our answers. Now if we wanted to find any more angles in, an, in the range, so if I change the answer, I say, okay, now we're going to find um, 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 4 pi. Then we can just add uh, 2 pi's to the answer. So x equals uh, pi plus pi over 6 plus 2 pi. And x equals 2 pi minus pi over 6 plus 2 pi. And we'd find more answers that way. Right, so um, you can do it this way as well if we have an expanded um, set of answers that we need to find. So this is 23 pi over 6. Okay, and that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and do this. If you see it says 0 less than equal to theta less than equal to 360 degrees, that means we should do it in degrees. Of course, if you want to pause the video, you can and try to solve it yourself. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead anyways. So again, we're just going to solve it by isolating first get negative one-third, and then we're going to set this as tan beta equals positive one-third. gives us the related acute angle. It'll give us a quadrant one answer every time. If you do it a different way, then you're going to get um, different quadrants depending on what's going on with the, with the ratio and stuff like that, so um, it's better to do it this way. Uh, oops, actually, so <laughs> beta was equal to 18 degrees. got distracted. So now we're going to do it in our different quadrants. So it's in quadrant uh, two, quadrant two and quadrant four. So theta is equal to 180 minus 18, which is 162 degrees, and theta is equal to 360 minus 18, which ends up being 342 degrees. Okay, and there you go. So this one is going to be a word problem. Today the high tide in Matthews Cove, New Brunswick is at midnight. The water level at high tide is 7.5 meters. The depth um, is modeled by the equation that's given here. Heather's planning a day trip to the cove tomorrow, but the water needs to be at least 2 meters deep for her to maneuver her boat sail boat safely. So how can Heather determine the times when it'll be safe for her to sail into Matthews Cove? So <coughs> we're going to be solving to greater than or sorry, 2 is less than equal to the depth. Um, but when you're doing a trigonometric inequality, we're actually going to solve 2 equals, and then we'll use the graph to help us figure out um, where exactly the answer is going to go. So the first thing I want to do is actually graph it. Um, so we know 4 is the axis, and the amplitude is 3.5, so that gives us 7.5 is the high, which is what uh, was given in the question as well, so that's good draw my x-axis in here. It doesn't have to be, again, it doesn't have to be like a super nice graph. It could just be a little sketch, but we just want to get a good idea um, so that when we graph later, or when we try to solve it later, it'll be okay. And we know that um, cos pi over 6 t is going to start at the maximum. We also know that midnight was supposed to be um, 
high tide, so the question matches the equation that we're given. So I'll just graph that in, so I actually get one period like this. And uh, if we solve for the period, we know period is equal to 2 pi over pi over 6, which is 12. So this is actually at 12 noon. And uh, so this is at 6 a.m. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. It's 6 a.m. right there. Um, this will be at 3 a.m. And this will be at 9 a.m. Okay, so I get my answers. I actually think I would like to add an extra um, period, although I don't know if I have space just try to sketch it in there just so I can get my full 24 hours in there so I'll get back to here's midnight again 12 midnight because we're probably gonna get we're gonna get more than one answer for this equation so we just move everything over so to minus 4 is negative 2 divided by 3.5 equals cos pi over 6t and so we're going to do, we're going to use beta and do the positive version. And according to my calculator, it's 0 0.96 radians. So um, then we will solve it. So cos is negative in quadrants, uh, quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. So that means that pi over 6t, I'm just taking this and replacing it here, equals pi minus beta. And if you solve that, you end up with t equals 4.17. And quadrant 3, we'll do pi over 6t equals pi plus 0 0.96. And if you solve for t here, we'll get t equals 10 point, oh sorry, 7.83-ish. So those are two, our two answers. Um, and if we want to do the minutes, we can do 0 0.17 times 60 minutes and we'll get 4, this is about 410 and this one if I do 0 0.83 times 60 I'm going to get 450, or sorry 750 so it gives us 50 minutes so we know the approximate time is 410 and 750 um, and if I just use my graph here I'm just going to draw in where I think 2 is approximately, it doesn't have to be accurate it's going to be here, here, here and here that um, the depth is 2 meters so I know that this one is going to be about 4.10 a.m. And this one was 7.50 a.m. And this one is going to be 4.10 p.m. And this one right here will be 7.50 p.m. And we want it to be above 2 meters, right? So I know that I can't use this section. So a lot of people would answer it, they'd find this, these answers and then they'd say, okay, it's 410 to 750. And that's actually not true. It depends what we want from the question, right? So because we want it to be above 2 meters, um, because this is the depth, then it should be from 750 to 410 uh, p.m. So Heather can sail from 7.50 a.m. to 4.10 p.m. or, and we're going to have another set here, so, um, well I guess midnight to 4.10 and then 7.50 to midnight, so I'll just say 7.50 p.m. to 4.10 a.m. if she wants a nice boat ride at night. So that is our solution, okay? Always use the graph to help you out. Okay, last one. So in this case, we actually have a whole bunch of different things going on, and we want to make it so that it's one ratio. Um, so I'm going to, first of all, collapse this 2 sine x cos x. You probably recognize it as sine 2x. And of course, cos 2x is just cos 2x. And then I'm going to move this over and just divide everything by cos 2x. So I get sine 2x over cos 2x is equal to 1. So if I do that, I know sine 2x over cos 2x is actually tan 2x, and then I can solve it just like I did before. Uh, if tan beta is equal to 1, beta is equal to pi over 4. That's one of our special triangles. And again, if you can find the exact value, you really have to do it. And uh, tan is positive in quadrant 1, and also in quadrant 3. When we're actually going to get four answers. It's because we've got tan 2x, um, so we actually get two 
times 2 answers. So that's 4 answers. If it was tan 3x, we get 3 times 2 answers, 6 answers, and so forth. That's because um, we're compressing the period, so we actually fit 2 periods of tan into 0 to 2 pi. Um, so that's what's going on right there. So we're going to do 2x is equal to pi over 4, which gives us x equals pi over 8. And we get 2x is equal to pi plus pi over 4, or in other words, x equals 5 pi over 8. And then we're also going to get another rotation. And remember I said in the beginning that we would just add 2 pi's, so we're going to do 2x equals pi over 4 plus 2 pi. Um, and we're going to do 2x equals pi plus pi over 4 plus 2 pi. So you'll notice that I'm using this one and I'm just adding the 2 pi here. Okay, so you're not adding this one. And uh, so if we solve that, we're going to get x equals, um, this is 9 pi over 4 divided by 2, so 9 pi over 8. And we'll get 1 over here, x is equal to 3 pi plus pi will give us 13 pi over 4 divided by 2, 13 pi over 8. And so we get our four solutions, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so that's it. Basically, we just talked about how to solve linear um, tri trigonometric uh, equations by following these steps right here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Bye.